In this video, I'm gonna add the uh, product details view. So this product is linked to slash category slug slash product slug. So in product JS route file, I'm gonna copy this route and get rid of the contents and say here product details and get rid of these. So the URL is going to be slash some category slash some product. And in here now I'm going to have a where called gallery images that I'm going to initialize to null. And then I'm going to find the product. So find one where slug is rack params product and have a callback with error and product so if air and I'm gonna have curly braces say console log air else just format all this and uh, semicolon there so else I need to first get the uh, gallery there, so that's public slash product images slash and product ID and slash gallery and now read it so fs read there and I need to include this fs plugin package in here so I'm gonna say here var fs is equal to require fs extra so fs read there gallery there and have a callback here with error and files format this so if error and I'm gonna have braces again I'm gonna console log the error else now in here so if it can be read I'm gonna say that gallery images is equal to files and I'm gonna render the view so the view is gonna be product and I'm gonna pass the title which is gonna be product dot title and the product itself which I'm gonna pass as p actually and pass the gallery images as well and that should do it for now so to create the product I'm gonna copy paste index and rename it to product and get rid of this and in here I'm gonna have a div with the class of row and inside of that a div actually I'm gonna have an h1 here with a class of page header that's gonna say p title and then I'm gonna have a div with a class of call access 12 and call md5 and in there I'm gonna display the product image to which I'm gonna give a class of SPI and the source is gonna be slash product images slash PID and slash P image and I'm gonna have a BR after that so let's see if this is showing up so far and here it is Next I'm gonna have a div with the class of XS12 and call MD7 and in here I'm gonna 
display the product description and also the product price so I'm gonna have a dollar sign here and just format this a bit so parse float and to fixed to and I'm gonna have a link in a P to add to cart so this is gonna point to slash cart slash add slash the product slug and I'm gonna add this cart route later on and I'm gonna say in here add to cart so let's see and here is this I just need to style the image a bit so in style CSS IMG with the class of SPI is gonna have a width of a hundred percent okay so there it is looking good and down here I'm gonna display uh, the gallery images so after this div I'm gonna have a new div with the class of access call access 12 only so this is gonna be in a new row and the UL with the class of gallery and in here I'm gonna loop through gallery images so I'm gonna have a loop and this is gallery images so that's this one right here and I'm gonna say image in here and get rid of that and indent this a bit so the same thing as when I display these gallery images in the admin area I wanna check if one of them is called thumbs which is actually the folder so I don't wanna display that so I'm gonna have an if here and I'm gonna say if image is not equal to thumbs in that case I'm gonna display it so in that case I'm gonna have a Lee and in that Lee I'm gonna have an A and I'm gonna be using Fancybox plugin for the gallery so I'm just gonna add now that data attribute that I need so that data dash Fancybox and that's gonna be equal to gallery and it's gonna point to slash product images slash product ID slash gallery slash image and inside of the A I'm gonna have the thumb so let me just copy this and this is gonna be slash thumbs slash image and this is supposed to be like so inside of EJS tags okay so let's see if this works and here it is they're showing up and they point to where they should so that's all good I'm just gonna style this list a bit so I'm gonna say in here UL gallery Lee and in here I'm gonna say display inline block and margin of 20 and list style none so let's see if that looks a bit better and it does and I need to add a fancy box so I'm just gonna use the CDN for that let's see okay so fancy books 3 and this is the CDN for the CSS yes so in header I'm gonna add that before the style CSS like so and the script which should be in the footer okay and to call it in main JS I'm gonna say if 
just check if there are any of these data fancy box attributes there so if data dash fancy box length so if there are any then I'm gonna just copy this and call the fancy box plugin so this should now work let's see if it actually does and it does okay so it's all good that's it for this video see you in the next one